Hi guys, going back in time gaming, back again, it's another let's play, and I thought I'd carry on a bit of momentum and, and go into the very next Spyro game. Spyro 2, for me, gateway to Glimmer, for those in America, Ripto's Rage. I'm not quite sure why they changed the name from Europe to the North America version, I have no idea. But anyway, let's enjoy the cutscene. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about Parks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork. Oh dear. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter. Stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working! I got a dragon! Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the... Beach? Not this way. Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Oh dear. Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalon? Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalon. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Oh, I don't know. So a little bit of housekeeping. She just gave us a guidebook. Pretty much our inventory, similar thing we used to have in Spyro 1. The three baddies you saw, that was Crush, Gulp, and Ripto. Crush will be the first one we'll probably face. Um, and yeah. I'm Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, the Mamba Blizzard just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Maybe. So at the end of each level, when you go through the portal, so we used to have the return home one in the first one, you actually go through a portal at the end of these ones, and you get a talisman at the end, what well, you should do, hopefully. But yeah, so this is Spyro 2. For me, it was called Gateway to Glimmer. It was released in November. I think it was November the 5th in 2000, well, 1999, actually. And I think it might have been released about three days earlier in the US, so... And this is the first level, this is Glimmer. Which... Some of you are probably playing ahead, if you've watched any of my videos before, I do like to try and be a bit of a perfectionist, a bit of a completionist, so I'm not going to be able to on this one because... Well, I'll show you why when we get to it in a minute. 
as you probably noticed so far as well, like the enemies on this one, you don't get gems from. Like their soul, I guess, goes to a little portal. And once you've got a certain amount, you can do like little jumps. Or fly. Or flame. But again, it, it will become clearer as the further we go through the game. But anyway, gems are still here. That's the most important thing. And they actually are worth something. I think that's it around there for now. See, I just, just decided to do this one for the pure and simple reason that I really enjoyed playing through the first Spyro and I thought, well, if other people like it, hopefully they'll like this one. Maybe, maybe not. This does tend to be the favourite out of the three for a lot of people. I do like it, but personally the third one is my favourite. Please don't hate me. Auto save. Fantastic. Yeah, another helpful feature. Obviously the gliding's improved on this as well. So this is where I can do a little bit of explaining here. Um, we'll get to meet money bags very, very, very shortly. And I can't actually climb until I've got to the second home world. Obviously meaning that I can't get to the higher area. Obviously meaning that I can't complete the level. Which is really annoying, but never mind. So we're going to be on an odd number of gems to start with. We'll just go and get the rest of them first. There he is. One of the most popular characters in the series. Always trying to rip us off. So we've got nine souls so far. I'm calling it that because I don't really know what else to do. Hundred and eighty one. How many is he gonna rip me off here? About a hundred probably knowing him, isn't he? Ah, oh, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you one hundred of your gems to cross. Mm, what a surprise. Ah, oh, here we go. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro was it. You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. Yes, we're bound to. To get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. Yep, yeah. okay. Triangle to look around. Yep, yeah. those are the gems I can't get yet because I can't fly. Or I can't climb, should I say, to get to the... The jump. Bye. So this is what I was talking about at the end of each level. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Awesome. And then once you've got all of them, you can pretty much fight the boss. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Not today. We've got other stuff to do yet. Um... Never gets old collecting gems, does it? So, once I've just got these ones, I'll just get these gems, have a bit of a clear up of this area, and I'll show you what I meant. It's hard to explain sometimes, I never use the right words. Whoops. So, this thingy, he might be able to explain it better to me. Ah, Superfly power up. Yep, 
Cool. So they're superfly power-ups, basically what they're called. So once you've killed enough enemies, obviously this will be open. I think it will obviously it would show you the amounts. It would say like 11 or something like that. It's a random number sometimes as to how many you need to unlock the power-up. And then once you get it, um, some give you charge. Some give you obviously the flying. I think some give you the flame as well, similar to the fairy in the first Spyro, when she give you a bit of a kiss and then you'd be able to go and flame stuff. So this is obviously what's up the top of that um, ladder I can't climb yet, which is why I obviously I'm a bit upset. So we've got four, oh, the fifth one's over here. And we should now get our first orb of the game. Our main collectible. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. We finally got one, at last. I don't actually see the point in coming up here. Oh, obviously there is a point. Let me see if I can just show... We'll all go up there first. I want to try and show you the, the difference from this one to the first one in terms of jumping. Just so you understand my pain. Is that all of them? Yeah, I don't want that anymore anyway, so you can stop making the stupid noise. So a jump like this would obviously be quite difficult on the first game. But you can do that little flutter that you just in there, and you just jump up on top. And you have to admit, if that was in the first game, how much better would my life have been? Now we're going to go for our second orb of the game. Yep, yeah, we'll sort them out for you, mate. So this one, he gives you a little rock to throw at them, and you just have to aim it and shoot them. Yep, yeah, I will. I'm just going to go and get a, a super fly jump. Or super... Oh, I've forgotten the name already. I've literally gone through that and nothing's happened. Super jump power up. I don't know. Super fly power up. All it was was a five. How annoying. Where'd he go then? He went up here. Can we? I still never understood why they decided to call it Gateway to Glimmer though, because I don't really understand. I mean, it's the first level, but I mean, I just don't know. Or why we didn't just call it R Ripto's Rage. But never mind. to the next one then. How far is this? I think this one's a bit further away, isn't it? If I remember rightly. Pretty much go back right to, right to the start of the level. Ah, oh, there's one. It's going to be a bit difficult, isn't it? Let's have to jump up there. Oh, I should get him. I actually completed this for the first time a lot later in my childhood compared to the other two games. Obviously, a lot later on in the playthrough I'll show you why. Oh my god, I'm missing boxes. Wow. That's not very good. God, I've missed quite a lot really, haven't I? Wow. I missed any others? Wow. This one moves, doesn't he? Yeah, I thought so. So you're right. One more, and then we'll make our way to Summer Forest. Our first home world. Where's this guy? Is he a mover as well? Oh, you would. Oh my god, I actually hit him. Wow. <laughs>
I don't understand why the girls of wings are dropping them. Surely they're on our side. Oh well. Another auto save. So, yeah. There we go. That is the first level for now. Don't feel like doing that. Now we're on our way to Summer Forest. Which is probably where I'll leave it for now, but we'll just catch up with what's going on. Greatest of all time. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Uh, Is there only 14? I swear there was more than that. Spyro's going to help us collect the talisman. I am? Yes. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Mind you thinking about it, there's only about, what, five proper levels in each world. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? Wow. Burned. <laughs> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Mmm, don't think so. So here we are, we're coming up to uh, Summer Forest. I was about to say we're coming up to auto saving. No, we're not. We're coming up to Summer Forest. So that's where I'll leave it for this part. I'll pick it straight up from where we are right now in the next part. So as always, if you could leave a like, comment, fire away a question, subscribe, and I'll catch you in just a bit.